About two weeks ago, I asked you guys, particularly Redmi Note 10 Pro owners, about the issues you've encountered so far. In today's video, I'll be talking about just that and I'll be sharing as well some of my experiences that might help you in a way that helped me during my time with the phone. So to all the subscribers, welcome back and thanks for stopping by once again. And if you're new here, I create tech videos of all kinds, so feel free to drop a sub to get notified of new content. The first comment from Sahil comes from the display flicker issue while on 120Hz. I've read a lot of comments mentioning the same issue, just like Jamal here who mentioned screen flickering while using reading mode in dark mode. In my experience, I did notice some flickering, particularly at night when my screen brightness is way down and the phone is in dark mode. However, I found out that the screen only flickers when there's a video playing in the foreground. So as soon as I scroll through a static feed, the flickering goes away. Honestly, it didn't bother me significantly because when watching YouTube or Netflix videos at night, I hardly see any flickering. The second comment comes from Benedict and he mentions background apps not resuming whenever using the camera app. And he's using the 6GB model. I never really noticed this issue but after trying it, most apps really do tend to close themselves when opening the camera app. And yes, I'm also using the same model that he's using. So I guess 6GB isn't enough to keep task in the background but to be fair, photo or video capturing really requires a lot of RAM, especially in high resolutions. Not to mention Xiaomi's overly aggressive software. Another issue from Jamal is screenshots not working sometimes. In case some of you didn't know, you can take a screenshot with a three finger gesture. If it fails you more often than not, you can also try simultaneously pressing the power and volume down buttons. According to Omar, his phone is having battery draining. I think this issue is the common thing I see whenever we get a new phone. However, there's only one time where my battery did drain 50% overnight. Apparently, having the notification effect for the always-on display turned on can really drain the battery. So in my case, I turned it off so that every time a notification comes in, it won't power on the display. CDK Offers specializes in delivering cheap and legitimate software and game codes, so if you ever need a Windows 10 Pro key, you can buy one at a very affordable price. To do so, just visit cdkoffers.com. Search for Windows 10 and choose a suitable copy for you, but in my case, I always go for a professional copy. Before making a payment, make sure to type in the RC20 code for an exclusive 20% off discount. After that, you can choose your preferred payment method. You will receive the code via an email that redirects you to the website of CDK Offers, and from there, you can get your Windows 10 key. Since my Windows copy is already activated, I just can simply change my product key to the new one that I just bought. CDK Offers provides permanently valid keys with 30 days of return exchange period. You can check out more deals in the video description below. As for SRJ23, he's a nav button user. Shout out to nav button users, including me. As much as we love using gestures, those who use third-party launchers on MIUI 12 are required to use nav buttons. The nav buttons disappearing is actually a consistent issue that I also encountered. The only fix I found is swiping down from the top to reveal the buttons again. And yes, I'm on the latest MIUI 12.5.1. Bala Chander mentions about mic issue during app calls including WhatsApp where the receiver can hear his voice. This is a difficult issue to recreate since it involves using another device. But in my case, I don't use WhatsApp but I do use the phone for regular calls and Facebook Messenger consistently. So far, the people on the other line never complain about mic quality. Amir has problems with Google Chrome not updating and Google Dialer not working properly. Sorry Amir, mine is working just fine. So there you go. Just like most of you, I bought this phone with my own money so I too am critical of the device. If these issues don't bother you at all, I left a link in the description where you can purchase this phone. That's about for the first episode of this series. It's actually the second series where I ask questions and answers them all in a video. Let me know if you want to expand the topics of this Q&A of sort. Just share them in the comment section if you have any ideas to share. As always, drop a sub or a like if you feel supporting the channel. And until the next one, stay safe.